ABC 9 News forecast first. Good evening, everyone. We are watching radar as usual, and it shows more showers and thunderstorms to the west. It's been uh, producing heavy rain around the O'Neill area here this evening. This activity is pushing east, so towards the Verdigree area. Perhaps eventually Yankton will see this rain as well. And some development here between Pierce and Plainview as well. None of this is severe at the moment, just some significant downpours. So we'll continue to watch, of course, and give you a full update momentarily. Temperatures mainly in the 70s here around Sioux City. Sioux City at 75. Rain cooled air toward O'Neill at 66. A chance of showers and thunderstorms will follow us right into the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the upper 60s overnight and 70 at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The latest look at radar and a look at a new severe weather threat for the Labor Day weekend. Coming up in a few minutes, it's time for your news. Now, live from KCAU TV in Sioux City, Iowa, this is ABC 9 News at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Sahajic. And I'm Tim Seaman. When Nebraska law enforcement makes a traffic stop, officers are required to identify the race or ethnicity of the person being stopped by checking a box on the ticket. But startling numbers from certain Nebraska counties indicate other forms of racial profiling may be alive and well within the state. Rachel Krause takes a look. Digging through the state numbers provided by the Nebraska Crime Commission, some of the results were pretty astounding. Law enforcement details who they pull over, including their race, and some counties show they're pulling over some more than others. Whether we like it or not, race comes up in everyday life and in something as simple as a traffic stop. Well, we're forced to racially profile due to the uh, laws that regard the uh, traffic stops. But not all law enforcement is on board with racially profiling people there. In my opinion, I have an issue with that because it's a guessing game. Um, I mean, how? I mean, it's like asking somebody their religion or their sexual orientation on a traffic stop. I mean, what is your race? Sheriff Kleinberg says they have to. It's part of their daily job. But since not everyone has their race on their driver's license, it's often done with guesswork. And although racial profiling is a part of the job in Nebraska, not everyone seems to be taking it beyond filling out the forms. In Emerson, Nebraska, for example, they make very few traffic stops, and one race is making up most of their stops. The majority of stops that we make are with white people. Um, we do have a large Hispanic population around here, but we do not seem to have any problems as far as stopping more of them than we do the white people. So. In Dakota County, Nebraska, their 2013 numbers show more than half of the stops were for whites. 30% were Hispanic, numbers that closely match ethnic populations there. But that's not the case in some counties where ethnic populations don't match up with the traffic stop numbers. It's something the Nebraska ACLU is calling a statewide issue. Unfortunately, that data shows that people of color are more likely to be pulled over have their cars searched and arrested. But Sheriff Kleinberg says there's more to it. Since not everyone has their race on their driver's license, it's often done with guesswork. He says if you identify with more than one race, what box do you tick? The answer may be more than black and white. He believes law enforcement is stopping based on traffic, not skin color. I don't know of any law enforcement officer that I've talked to, whether they've been in the business for a long time or not, that that has ever even suggested that because of skin color, they made contact with this person. If you want to check out those numbers for yourself, we posted all those reports on our website at SiouxLandManners.com. Tim. All right, thanks a lot, Rachel. Elsewhere tonight, police in Lamar say they're on the lookout this evening for a man who robbed the Walmart store there just before 2 o'clock this morning. According to police, a man allegedly forced an employee to open a safe and then he made off with cash. We're told the suspect left the store in a gray sedan, shown here in the photo. And if you have any information or have uh, details of that person, you're asked to call police in Lamar's at 546-4113. 
The family of the 32-year-old man fatally shot after a suspected armed robbery in Omaha says despite his decision that night, he didn't deserve to die. On Tuesday, police say Cortez Washington used an airsoft pistol to rob a Wendy's in Omaha. It all ended in a shootout with police in which both Washington and an audio supervisor filming for the TV show Cops was killed. Tawana Washington, the suspect's sister-in-law, says she's very sorry for everyone involved. But we all are victims in this. If you attempted to rob the place, then yes, you go to prison and you, you get jail time and then you rehabilitate and you start life over again. You don't get loaded up with bullets. Omaha police say Cortez Washington was on parole from a conviction in Missouri. He also had convictions in Kansas. There's trouble at one Nebraska County Jail. It's not the inmates, though. It's the building itself. The Thurston County Jail in Pender is moldy, dingy, and very old and doesn't meet current jail standards. A local group there has been working on the issue, but Monday, the project took a step back when a plan to replace the 25-bed jail with one nearly twice that size failed to get the support of the Thurston County Board of Supervisors, meaning a bond issue for a new jail won't appear on the November ballot. The Thurston County Sheriff says that's a problem. This building has Thurston County open to a lot of liability. When we bring inmates out, we have to have all the inmates out in one area with two jailers to walk them outside. So it does cause us huge security issues. Pretty much everyone agrees jail conditions are a problem for people living and working behind bars. And although a fix isn't in the immediate future, one commissioner says there will eventually be one. I don't give up. If I believe in it, why? I, we took a bad turn here last Monday, but we're going to back up, take a look at our mistakes, and go forward from there. You know, you talk about a jail, it's, it's kind of like talking about uh, garbage. Everybody knows we got it, but nobody wants to talk about it. For now, members say they're agreeing it's just time to go back to the drawing board. Uh, it's out with the old and in with the new. That certainly seems to be the theme for the Storm Lake School District this year. You see, last year, a number of teachers either retired or moved out of the district altogether. Meanwhile, the Storm Lake area has been seeing tremendous growth in population. 25 teaching positions is what the district had to fill, which was no problem considering all the people coming into the area. Many of the new hires are fresh out of college, but that works out great, district officials say, considering the hyper-digital era we're now in. This younger generation of teachers who grew up with this technology, uh, able to use that to uh, better teach and assist our students is very, very important, and that's something that we really are benefiting from. And according to many of the students there in Storm Lake, it's been fun getting to meet all the fresh new faces. Well, these days you can find just about anything on social media. Anything from long lost friends, gifts for family, but babies? That's actually the case for a former Storm Lake couple who are plus one tonight thanks to the help of Facebook. Take a look. For anyone that's tried to have a baby and failed, you already understand the trials, the tribulations, the emotional roller coaster this woman has been through. I had been to the doctor like 60 sometimes. I mean, it was crazy. That's Libby Ortman. Her and her husband, Andy, spent six years trying to conceive and nothing. So, out of frustration, maybe as a last resort, Libby turned to Facebook. Tell everyone you know we want we want kids. It's not working. If you know anyone or anyone who knows anyone in a difficult situation, please tell us about, tell them about us. Some responded with positive, encouraging comments. Others expressed their empathy. And then there was one post that literally changed everything. Her exact words were, my baby sister is pregnant and she wants to meet you. Meet baby sister, Treya Baugh. I had considered adoption and the other options and at that point I was still unsure of a decision. But it certainly didn't take long after finally meeting the Ortmans that Treya knew Andy and Libby would make the perfect parents. About 10 minutes into it I think it stopped being awkward and 
we just, we clicked instantly. And while the adoption process is still in the works, it's easy to see that baby Calvin, as this little miracle was named, is already right at home. While the nursery is complete with the most fitting of comic book themes, the next chapter for these two <laughs> I don't know. is still a mystery. Trying to raise them the best we can. But one thing they do know, their life is now complete, thanks to one little bundle of joy that they happened to find on Facebook. Now, Calvin is still very tiny, only three weeks old, but the Wormans say when he grows up, they fully expect he'll be a Hawkeye or a fan of Calvin and Hobbes. Time will only tell. Special family reunion, no doubt about that. Well, the rain held off in the backyard venue at the Hard Rock is getting broken in tonight. Country artists Craig Campbell, Charlie Worsham, and David Nail on the stage this evening. And despite some sprinkles moving through the area, pretty decent-sized crowd turned out. That's something the artists say they really appreciate. Oh, this is a great crowd. I've been watching folks come in from over where our bus is, and this is, uh, this is a country music crowd. They're here to hear some country music. You can tell country music fans, they don't care if it's raining, they don't care if it's hot or cold or what. They're going to come outside and they're going to listen to their favorite singers. We'll check to see if the bands are still playing in a minute. This is the first of four consecutive concerts planned in the backyard. The Goo Goo Dolls and Daughtry take the stage coming up on Saturday night. Still to come, big election time news here at ABC9. We'll share in just a bit. In weather, we have more showers and storms in the forecast. We have been saying that all week, but Saturday will bring sunshine. Then, though, our attention turns to the possibility of severe storms. We'll fill you in on what you'd want to know after the break. Stay with us. You're watching ABC 9 News at 10 with Tim Seaman, Jenna Renstrom, Chief Meteorologist Fred Hexham, and Sports Director Chris Palmquist. This is ABC 9 News at 10. One man seems to think so. Well, we've had some heavy rain push through Siouxland recently, but how is the holiday weekend looking? We'll take a peek at your forecast. Tomorrow on ABC 9 News This Morning. I was deployed with the Iowa National Guard for 17 months to Western Iraq. We were the longest serving unit in the history of the Iraq conflict. Because of our extension, we were entitled to additional pay. And we weren't getting paid. Bruce Braley went to bat for us and made sure that we were paid. He did this because he cared about us, because we were from Iowa. He fought for us, and he got results. As a veteran, I know what Bruce Braley did for me and my unit. He took care of us. I'm Bruce Braley, and I approve this message. Trauma is 24-7, but there is only one certified level one trauma center prepared to care for any injury at any time. With more fellowship-trained trauma surgeons, and the unmatched comprehensive care of highly specialized teams to save lives and restore hope. Throughout the state and the region, there is only one with serious medicine and extraordinary care. The Nebraska Medical Center. When you're on this earth to do one thing, it's done with a greater sense of purpose. Not set in my ways but searching for the best way. If things change quickly, I'll be quicker. I'll never stop looking for the right path and the right seed. Angie posts, ugh, this stupid AC in this stupid car. It only works on high. Hang tight, Angie, because the Honda Summer Clearance event is here. This Honda CRV has awesome standard features like a rear view camera and Bluetooth. Wanna borrow my brush? Thanks. Keep it. Hurry in to get a great deal on a Honda. Name most trusted brand by KBB.com. The Honda Summer Clearance event is on now at your Honda dealer. New tonight, Emmy winner Aaron Paul leaves Kimmel Stun. It was so weird. <laughs> I bet there's a lot more to the story. There, there actually is a <laughs> Plus music from Ed Sheeran. I'm ready to rock and roll. New Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. The Knuffler Chevrolet Weather Ball is glowing white. Precipitation is in sight. Take a test drive and find new roads with Knuffler Chevrolet.
local forecast from Siouxland's weather team. Good evening, everybody. You are looking at a live shot of the Hot Lotto Sky Cam HD. This is the uh, outdoor concert there at the Hard Rock. Looks like maybe they just finished up, doesn't it? And everybody seems to be applauding, and hopefully it was a great show tonight. Lots of energy and excitement in downtown Sioux City as we go to Storm Lake for the Fitzpatrick Auto Sky Cam HD. Well, I don't see any outdoor concerts, but it does look like things are pretty peaceful in Storm Lake this evening. And the HD radar, many of us enjoying a dry, if humid evening, but there were a few notable exceptions. You can see moving in from the west, we have the showers and storms now moving into Verdigree, Nebraska, as well as areas north of Pierce, Randolph, uh, Wausau getting some rain as well, and eventually Yankton will probably see uh, some showers and thunderstorms. Of course, northern Yankton County, not so much the city of, but northern Yankton County and into Turner County tonight had a very active night. We actually had some tornado warnings in that area, mostly in rural areas as far as we know. We do not yet have any damage reports from Yankton or Turner County. If you are watching us and you know of damage or have any damage, give us a call here at the station or leave a message on our Facebook page. We would love to know about it. The, the uh, storms that produce those tornado warnings have weakened a lot. There are no longer any warnings, but they're still alive from Viborg to Lenox up towards Sioux Falls and they're pushing to the northeast. We're also seeing some showers developing here in the eastern part of Siouxland around to Pocahontas and then uh, toward uh, Fort Dodge with some activity pushing up from the south. That's very light rain, although it is pretty widespread. Going ahead now to take a look at this uh, tornado photo that was uh, sent to us courtesy of uh, River City News in Yankton. There you can clearly see the tornado. And uh, some reports indicate that was on the ground for some time, actually, tonight. Looks like a rural spot there where this was shot. 75 in Sioux City with a dew point of 72, so 90% are uh, sticky humidity. And temperatures in the 70s across our map. The report from Cherokee not available here at 10 o'clock 67, the exception to the 70s in Esterville. As we zoom out now here to our Stormcast HD, you can see that front we've been talking about all week. It's been uh, migrating north and south. It's going to be moving back north here tonight for another round of showers and thunderstorms. Still in the area for tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms likely for yet another day, but it looks like the front will start pushing east just in time for football tomorrow evening. So a few sprinkles possible, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem for the games tomorrow night. Saturday is going to be a treat. We get lots of sunshine on Saturday. No rain chance. Wow, does it feel nice to say that. But things change in a hurry going into Sunday again as an active weather pattern moves in for Sunday. The activity you see off to the west will be moving into Siouxland on Sunday, and some of this could be strong to severe. So heads up on Sunday. Could be a busy weather day. Let's uh, go here to your rain forecast and check the latest here. This is uh, from tonight through tomorrow night. And uh, generally, we'll see light rain amounts over eastern Nebraska of a half inch or less. And not a whole lot indicated on the model for Sioux City. But as you go north of Sioux City and east of Sioux City, Around an inch possible in some spots, maybe toward two inches around Audubon. Your forecast for tonight is for showers and thunderstorms, 67 for the low. More of them tomorrow, but it won't rain all day, 79. A great day Saturday. Once again, though, on Sunday, remember that could be a day of strong or severe storms. Of course, we'll keep you posted. I got to tell you, Fred's just got bad luck. Fourth of July, you got the live shot of the fireworks. They ended right as he went to it. The concert tonight ends right when he goes to it. I don't know. You had good intentions. I, I tried. We appreciate the effort. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. Well, don't go anywhere. One big political announcement as soon as we return. We're back in two minutes. BC 9's seven-day weather forecast is brought to you in part by Bombgars. What you need when you need it. Bombgars has what you need. These high-power cordless grease guns are a great addition to your DeWalt arsenal. Right now, the 18-volt kit is $50 off, and the 20-volt kit is marked down $100. Neutrina Safe Choice Maintenance and Safe Choice Senior Complete Nutrition Horse Feeds are on sale this week. Buy four regular price bags and get a fifth bag free with coupon. What you need. This is our secret weapon. I know what it's capable of. Who's gonna drive it? I am. He's getting away. We'll see about that. Never underestimate a man in a Ford truck. 
Now during the final days of the Ford Summer Spectacular, get 0 for 60 plus 1500 retail trade assist or up to 8250 total savings on F-150. Only at your local Northland Ford dealer. Your digestive system is made of vital layers. So is our system of care at Pierce Street Same Day Surgery. The latest equipment for a more accurate diagnosis. Four GI labs so you're in and out quickly. All in the region's only freestanding surgical center. Layer by layer, it adds up to newer, faster, more convenient GI care. Pierce Street Same Day Surgery. Talk to your doctor today. It's the 133rd Annual Labor Day Antique Show and Flea Market at Vicks Corner Saturday through Monday, August 30th through September 1st. Dealers from several states will feature antiques, collectibles, and primitives in the finest antique show in the Midwest. Find valuable antiques and collectibles to add to your collection. Free admission and parking, concessions on premises, open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy the fun at the Labor Day Antique Show and Flea Market at Vicks Corner, located at the northwest corner of Junction Highway 9 and 86, four miles west of Spirit Lake. At Siouxland's Furniture Store, Everett's Furniture. Big selection, name brands, great values, and immediate delivery. Shop Siouxland's Furniture Store, Everett's Furniture, just off Highway 20 in South Sioux City. A merger between Tyson Foods and Hillshire Brands is now complete. Just yesterday, Tyson agreed to an antitrust settlement with the Department of Justice to sell Heinold Hog Markets in order to move forward with that Hillshire acquisition. With this merger, Tyson becomes a company with more than $40 billion in annual sales. As of today, it's official. KCAU will be hosting a U.S. Senate debate between Iowa candidates Bruce Braley and Joni Ernst. Both candidates have accepted ABC 9's invitation to meet face-to-face -face and debate right here in Sioux City. It's all set for October the 16th. The exact venue is still being worked out, but the debate will be aired on all three of our parent company, Nexstar Iowa stations. We'll announce the details when we have them locked up. Still to come, a little persistence really pays off. We're on how one Iowa man eventually became a millionaire. That's right after this. Stay tuned. They built this country with their hands, fought wars to keep us free. They fed a nation and the world and sacrificed for their children and grandchildren. So I'm going to keep the promise we made to protect Social Security and Medicare for every senior who depends on them, like my mom and dad. I'm Joni Ernst, and I approve this message because that's a promise I'll keep for their generation and generations to come. Wow, this is nuts. Oh, I'll show you nuts. It's the final days of Toyota's annual clearance event. Find great lease offers and 0% APR financing on many of your favorite models. Get yours today before they're gone. It's mine. It's mine. You weren't kidding. Celebrate Labor Day with Toyota. Get 0% APR for 60 months on eight of your favorite Toyotas. And every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Guys! Oh, oh my God. Toyota, let's go places. The Sports Zone Half Hour Show, every Friday at 10.30, starting August 29th, only on ABC9, where local sports matters. Like ABC9 News on Facebook. Don't miss Ashley's spectacular Labor Day event. Everything is 20% off, plus get 60 months no interest financing. For only $17 a month, get this door reclining sectional with console or this stylish sofa and love seat at your brand new Sioux City Ashley Furniture Home Store. When they can't make it happen, Billion Kia in Sioux City can. Buy a new 2015 Kia Optima for $18,900 or a new 2015 Kia Sorento for only $21,900. And now save interest by taking advantage of 0% APR financing on all remaining new 2014 Kia Optimas. We have several new Kias to choose from. Plus, get Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. When other dealers can get you financed, give Billion Kia a try. Come in now when they can make it happen. Remember Billion Kia in Sioux City or BillionAuto.com. Ashley's Labor Day mattress sale is spectacular. Tempur-Pedic mattress sets start at only $34 per month, plus get a $300 gift card. Or get a king for the price of a queen or a queen for the price of a twin on Sealy Posturepedic sets. Only at your brand new Sioux City Ashley Furniture Home Store. 
Welcome back. We've got some big money news tonight. An Osage, Iowa man says that he's played the same combo of Powerball numbers for years, but just finally now it's paying off. Dwayne Hansen is a $2 million man. He picked up the bucket of money uh, with a ticket from Casey's there in town. Hansen says he couldn't believe he won, so he double-checked his numbers online, then triple-checked them, in fact, on the uh, lottery self-checkout scanner. It all confirmed he indeed was a big winner. Hansen says he's putting the money into a retirement account. By the way, Casey's will pick up a little change of their own because they did sell the winning ticket. It was a very special delivery for kids in South Sioux City and Sioux City today. Pencils were being handed out by the Norm Waite Senior Y, 116,000 to be exact. It was all a part of their new Get the Lead Out program, which aims to encourage all students to stay active all year long, not only academically, but physically as well. Teachers were given goodie bags as well. It took four crews about four hours to hand deliver all those supplies. All right, still ahead in sports, the X's closed out their 2014 home slate tonight. Could the, or could they rather wrap it up with a win? We'll find out next. Plus, football is back and with a bang. Stay tuned for highlights from the East Helens season opener. It's the model year end. And we're unleashing bonus cash on the 2014 East. Cash on top of existing offers on select Nissans. Innovation that excites. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Corn looks great again this year. Yeah, thanks for your help. Of course. I better be moving along. Say, what year is that deal you're driving? Activate thrusters. To develop breakout genetics, breakthrough traits, and seed capable of record-breaking yields, we went to the future and brought back some corn. Ask your Syngenta seed advisor about Golden Harvest. Baumgars has what you need. These high-power cordless grease guns are a great addition to your DeWalt arsenal. Right now, the 18-volt kit is $50 off, and the 20-volt kit is marked down $100. Neutrina Safe Choice Maintenance and Safe Choice Senior Complete Nutrition Horse Feeds are on sale this week. Buy four regular price bags and get a fifth bag free with coupon. posts. Ugh, this stupid AC in this stupid car. It only works on high. Hang tight, Angie, because the Honda Summer Clearance event is here. This Honda CRV has awesome standard features like a rear view camera and Bluetooth. Want to borrow my brush? Thanks. Keep it. Hurry in to get a great deal on a Honda. Name most trusted brand by KBB.com. The Honda Summer Clearance event is on now at your Honda dealer. The Sports Zone Half Hour Show, Fridays at 10.30, starting August 29th. Now, ABC 9 News Sports. Well, with all due respect to the Masters, here in Siouxland, Heelan and East on the gridiron is really a tradition unlike any other. Tonight was the 77th meeting between the rivals. The Crusaders have won the last three and nine of the last ten. And while tonight's matchup doesn't have much bearing on the playoffs, Still a great game to kick off the high school football season. Crusaders and Black Raiders, both with big holes to fill from last year's teams, and that's kind of on display early. Slow start on both sides. Nick McCann can't handle the snap, and big Hunter Cole comes in for the sack. Later on in the quarter, Heelan forced to punt the ball away, and Caleb Hanks settles under it, says he's got it, but can't hang on to it. A pile of white jerseys jump on it. The Crusaders can't do anything with the field position. We were scoreless after one. In the second quarter, here comes the offense. Alex Stevie takes it around right end, and 28 yards later, the Black Raiders jump out to the 7-0 lead. Next East drive, J.J. Stevens on the pump fake and a B-E-A beautiful ball to Austin Arndt. He cuffs it up inside the five and talk about a lucky bounce. That's how you know it's East night, folks. Right back into his hands. Arndt says, yeah, that's just how I planned it. But Heelan quickly responds. McCann 
Play action to Tucker Spears. I don't think they're gonna catch him. 47 yards to the promised land, cuts the lead to 14-7. But East gets the ball back with under 90 to play in the half. Stevens leads them down on the doorstep. The Crusaders would lock down, keep them out of the end zone, but the field goal puts them up 10 at the break. In the second half, the offense has come alive, but East gets the big win, 31 to 21. Well, with high school football back, we decided 10 minutes of highlights on Friday nights isn't enough. Beginning tomorrow at 10.30, we'll bring you the only half hour show in Siouxland dedicated just to football, highlighted by our game of the week. This week's choice, Woodbury Central at Ridgeview. Now we'll be live in Holstein at six and bring you extensive highlights from the Wildcats and Raptors at 10 with a very special guest. Get out to Holstein at six or check out the New Look Sports Zone tomorrow night. Despite a big push over the last month, the Sioux City Explorers were officially eliminated from postseason contention last night after a six and 19 start to the season was just too much to overcome. But tonight the X's wrapped up their home season trying to give their fans a good show. Taking on Gary South Shore and trying to take the series against the Railcats. Scoreless in the fourth, Renee Tassoni leads off with a drive to right center and he's hustling out of the box. He ends up on second with the double. Good hustle there out of the former Minnesota twin. Base is now loaded for the X's. Tommy Mendonca smokes one down the line, heads up bump. He calls it a foul ball. Steve Montgomery can't believe that, and he's going to have some words. Eventually, Mendonca is awarded first. The X's take a 1-0 lead. Base is still loaded. Amos Ramon grounds into a double play, but another run scores. The X's take the series 6-1 the final tonight. Today in UFA, the Musketeers had an off day, so defensemen Marcus Kojo and Jared Rossberg represented the team, joined other members from other competing squads visiting a children's hospital. And the guys played some bubble hockey with young patients and had a great time giving back on their off day. It was lots of fun. Like, it was <laughs> nice to help kids who need the help. And it was made me happy to see those kids to be happy. And that's great. It's a pitcher. Um, Nine-year-old uh, boy drew it. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I don't want to say it, but... As you can see, for a nine-year-old, that was pretty impressive, and we're honored to have it. We're going to hang it in our locker room, and, uh, yeah, he just it was fantastic to meet him. Well, the Muskies' semifinal game against Tolpar Ufa will be streamed online tomorrow. Puck drop is at 9 a.m. Siouxland time. That'll do it for sports. Fred will be back right after this. Save on everything during Home's Labor Day sale. Every living room, bedroom, and area rug, all on sale. Plus, get an additional $100 off every recliner, like this Power Rocker recliner, just $399, and zero interest financing until 2018. The Labor Day sale, now at Home Furniture. This summer... Who's gonna stop me? Time is our enemy, and speed is our friend. You're up. I'm on it. Saving the world is what we do. Now, during the final days of the Ford Summer Spectacular, get 0% financing for 72 months or lease a Focus for just $159 a month. Only at your local Northland Ford dealer. Announcing the deal of a lifetime from Cable One Phone. $25 a month for life. Talk about value and reliability. Now you've got unlimited local calling and free long distance. You heard right. $25 a month for life for Cable One Phone. So keep on talking, keep on saving. It's the best deal on the best phone service. Cable One Phone, $25 a month for life. Call today. Cable One, it's just common sense. McDonald's top five under five. Choose from five tasty extra value meals for less than five bucks, including the Big Mac and double quarter pounder with cheese. Wow, this is nuts. Oh, I'll show you nuts. It's the final days of Toyota's annual clearance event. Find great lease offers and 0% APR financing on many of your favorite models. Get yours today before they're gone. It's mine. It's mine.
You weren't kidding. Celebrate Labor Day with Toyota. Get 0% APR for 60 months on eight of your favorite Toyotas. And every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Guys! Oh, oh my God! Toyota, let's go places. It's Seasonal Concepts Patio Closeout. Save up to 50% on the largest selection of outdoor furniture, like this seven-piece patio dining set for just $7.97, plus zero interest financing until 2017. Seasonal Concepts Patio Closeout, now at all home furniture stores. Safe to say, Fred's got another look at more rain. Yes, <laughs> I do indeed, and as promised, here is the radar. In the west, we see those uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, producing heavy rain in spots. They're moving east, and more is expected overnight. That'll do it for us. Have a great night, everyone. Tomorrow's Friday. There's some good news there. Yeah. Good night.